Hello and welcome everybody from uh, Tirana, Albania. Uh, in this vlog we will uh, visit a very interesting sightseeing location of the Albanian capital. Uh, during the communist er era, uh, the dictator of Albania, Enver Hoxha, uh, commanded to construct more than uh, 170,000 bunkers <laughs> because they were prepared uh, of a foreign invasion. Well, uh, today we will visit uh, Bunk Art, uh, which is uh, the main uh, bunker uh, actually and this bunker was uh, this bunker was uh, design designated uh, for uh, for him the supreme leader of uh, albania but also for the leaders of the communist uh, party so it will be a very interesting uh, sightseeing location uh, i hope that uh, you will enjoy it if you are in tirana you shouldn't miss uh, this uh, bunker uh, it's a museum uh, it was built uh, by enver hoja for the uh, political leaders of the communist uh, party uh, you know i already mentioned that there were a lot of bunkers in albania but uh, this one is the hugest and uh, also protective against uh, nuclear war nu uh, nuclear attack so it's really huge it contains uh, more than 100 uh, rooms I arrived uh, at the main entrance, the girl who was selling the tickets uh, told me that uh, inside is 16 degrees, while outside is 31, so uh, it will be a big temperature difference, but it will be fine. Hey. <laughs> Remember Hoja's uh, room? <laughs> Ecco, qua sono le pubbliche che vengono per cambio. Avevo spetto le dorme anche. Perché facciamo sentire centrali, così si dice. Poi facciamo sentire centrali, poi facciamo sentire centrali, the photo of Enver Hoxha when he was still young. Here we can also find the photo of Enver Hoxha because uh, he took part from the National Liberation Resistance which was established in 1942, 16 September, the National Liberation Council. And they were fighting as partisans against uh, the Italians and uh, Germans. see the original wreckages of the of an aircraft an american aircraft uh, uh, which unfortunately crashed uh, because of the bad weather uh, and fortunately nobody died and uh, the albanians helped them to to uh, hide and uh, to not meet the germans and also interesting fact is uh, that uh, they dismantled uh, this uh, uh, 
airplane piece by piece. So uh, this was uh, to avoid being tracked by the German forces. Was, uh, some kind of communication room with uh, telephones and telegraph. So what you could see in the previous room uh, was a simulation of the border control. Nobody was allowed to leave uh, Albania. So what was happening, these lights were activated when uh, somebody tried to cross the border and uh, the guards were allowed to shoot everybody on site. This is how a real bunker looks like, very safe uh, doors. A bit too short for me <laughs> and too tall for this uh, for this bunker. Mm. Mm. No way out here. Well, I should correct myself because somehow I remember that uh, above 70,000 uh, bunkers were built, but uh, actually 173. Thousand bunkers were built in Albania, but uh, they planned more, uh, 221,000 uh, bunkers. But here we can see some photos uh, of the bunkers uh, of Albania. It's really interesting to see these uh, old uh, ruins from the communist uh, era, communist era. In this room we can find a lot of uh, medals given uh, by the Communist Party. This one is for the mother heroine, uh, the hero mother. Um, this uh, medal was given to, to mothers uh, who born more children for Albania. This room of the museum was labeled as the socialist room uh, to show how Albanians were living in 1973. But actually, it's nothing new for me. It looks like, it like in Romania. <laughs> Even in the 90s, uh, we had livings like this. This is a piece of art uh, made by Nikola Jenko in 2019. The Promenade. This is uh, a title which he gave it to it. These doors are really large, uh, just uh, to compare with the size of my hand, and it's not so easy to, to move it, to close it. This bunker was really uh, prepared for a nuclear war.
Uh, why always me? <laughs> I don't know what happens, but I always meet the craziest uh, taxi drivers. I don't know if uh, you watch the vlog uh, from Peking. Uh, that is an older vlog, so it's with uh, English subtitle uh, made by uh, mobile phone. Uh, so uh, I will link that uh, for you. That was uh, when I arrived to Peking. Uh, so what happened this time? Uh, I was walking like 15 kilometers already in the city center uh, and uh, then I was thinking that I will take a taxi to the to the boom cart and uh, it was like an older almost 60 years old uh, uh, taxi driver who, who took me and uh, when I uh, get out of the car uh, he was very very angry um, because uh, he wanted uh, that I will pay uh, uh, even uh, for for uh, for waiting and uh, he was uh, yelling something in Albanian I told him speak English I don't understand please you don't speak any English he said he didn't even uh, answer anything like uh, no or something he was very crazy very angry he was uh, pushing uh, the car and uh, and uh, he was yelling at me that uh, he wants to wait at me and uh, he didn't uh, even stop the taxi clock the taxi meter so uh, I just tried to explain him that I will walk uh, on foot uh, back and it should be uh, very expensive for me, of course, uh, that he waits for me until I visit the museum. It takes a lot of time. So it was, uh, it was really unfortunate to meet him, but finally I just uh, paid to him. But even uh, after I entered the, the museum, he was still there and, uh, and uh, yelling at me. And also uh, there were a very old uh, security guy at the entrance of the museum and uh, no uh, he was all the taxi driver was always uh, talking to him i don't know what so uh well uh, this was uh, it was really crazy to meet his guy and uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, i always uh, uh, meet a crazy taxi driver like uh, in india in uh, bangalore <laughs> when uh, the tuk tuk driver was uh, almost uh, chasing me uh, coming after me to pay him, pay him more this uh, Albanian taxi driver wanted the same that I pay him more but I just paid how much uh, the drive cost so yeah I also left uh, some tip well not so much but uh, that's it why he didn't wait for another tourist uh, coming out from the from the museum uh, from the bunker uh, museum so he could uh, find another customer but instead of that uh, he was uh, really crazy with me. So this was the Bunker Museum uh, in Tirana, the Bunkart. I hope you re really enjoyed uh, this uh, short walk. Uh, well, I didn't present any details about uh, Enver Hoxha, his dictatorship and the communist time uh, of uh, Albania, because uh, this will come in another uh, vlog and we will also present you uh, all the sightseeing locations of Tirana. But I still hope that you enjoyed uh, this uh, short presentation of the Bunker. If that's so, then please uh, subscribe to my channel and have a nice day. Goodbye.